The Grey Workshop, you see clinging to the edge of the Skagit River, survived for a few hours before it toppled down. Oh, there it goes. Wow. <laughs> wow. All this left is a concrete slab, the one behind Representative Susan Del Benny in our interview. It's just devastating. You can see it right here. A lot of land is lost, and we have houses that are at risk. Representative Del Benny toured land that's less than half of what it was last week. Swift currents Thanksgiving Day feasted on the bank, cutting more than 100 feet of property overnight, all while homeowners waited for help from state and federal officials. They failed. They absolutely failed. Uh, the other day I said the government sucked and friends and family don't. Mark Harris and neighbor Sherry Taxtall were glad to see Del Benny, but agree with their mayor. It's sort of too little too late. I'm glad the initial uh, shock is over, the nightmare, and now we have to clean up the mess. Lyman Mayor Eddie Hill spent days on the phone calling for emergency assistance, but got no response. I'm angry a lot of the time, and then I just uh, have to, you know, step back and try to figure out how to pick up the pieces. It's an incredibly tough time. Homeowners blame a levy the government hasn't maintained. The river is now flowing free in order to restore salmon. So the question is, what are potential solutions and understanding those. The now destroyed workshop belonged to Harris. Thankfully, we had most everything out of there. Uh, now the river has it. A river neighbors say is about as unpredictable as the promises they've gotten from elected officials. A lot of assessing. A lot of assessing. Uh, I think, was it you that told our congresswoman that she could either be a hero or a zero. That was me. <laughs> no, very good. In Lyman, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News.